So when we're talking about true self-confidence, what are we talking about? Well, we're not talking about a one-dimensional experience. What we're talking about is something that's broader than just an act of the mind. So when we're talking about true self-confidence, we're talking about a person who's happy and wholly content with who you are, who's comfortable with whatever actions you've taken in the past and the experiences you've had and your perspective on the world, who's comfortable to be yourself in any situation and has an awareness of who you are and is tuned into yourself. So by tuned in, what we mean is you're attuned to yourself, your body, your desires, your experiences, your potential, that that's where you're grounded rather than in the outside world. So this um, true self-confidence has components that are about feeling, that are about thinking, and that are about behavior. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. How they work independently in terms of feel, think, and behave, and then how they are actually interdependent as well.